how to use these videos. As the video plays, go ahead and pause it and prompt your child to participate in as much as you like. This might be when the instructor asks a specific question or when you see an opportunity for them to engage. As you're doing that, keep the session positive by giving praise and rewards throughout the video. That doesn't mean only when they get something right, you want to give praise and rewards as they sit in the absence of challenging behavior. And lastly, if, the, if your child gets something wrong, just show them the right answer or direct them to the video and I'll show them the right answer. They don't have to practice it or they don't have to do it as long as they see the correct answer and they don't get the praise or reward, you can just move on to the next opportunity. Thanks. everyone, it's me, Casey. We're going to continue our lesson on simple machines. Next, we're going to talk about the wedge. And after we talk about the wedge a little bit, we will have some practice questions afterwards. I will get right into it and share my screen. Okay. The wedge. All right, here we go. A wedge. A wedge is a tool that consists of two inclined planes. It's normally shaped like a triangle, like this wedge of cheese here. And it has one inclined plane on one side and another on the other side. Although it's different from an inclined plane because the wedge is used to move things apart. Normally an inclined plane you would use to go up or down but with a wedge, the direction of the force goes out um, away from the wedge. It's used to split objects, like with this um, type of ax, or it can be used to keep things open or closed, like a door, or it can be used to keep things together, like, um, sorry, a stapler. Um, another place you might see a wedge is on a blade. Now always remember blades like scissors and knife, knives can be dangerous, but they are in fact a wedge that comes to a sharp point. So that's the wedge. It consists of two inclined planes. And as the force of the wedge goes one direction, the load goes either direction away from the wedge. In this case, the load are these brown rectangles, which are probably supposed to be wood. Oh, that, that's a good one. The ax is splitting the piece of wood. So in this case, the wood is the load that moves in the direction away from the wedge. Let's practice a little bit. What is it? What is it? A shovel. A shovel uses a wedge down here on the, on the bladed part so that it can get into the dirt and move the dirt around. Do this, do this. Putting your hands together like this kind of looks like a wedge on either side. Match triangle, match triangle. Again, similar to an inclined plane, a wedge is typically going to be in the shape of a triangle. You say wedge, wedge. Match triangle, match triangle. There it is. The shape of a wedge is often a triangle. Sometimes it can be really small though. You might have to look closely. Point two, wedge. 
point to wedge. That's it. You could use that cheese wedge to wedge something open, like the refrigerator door. That's a funny example. Okay, you say up. What is it? What is it? Scissors. These scissors have a wedge against the blade right here. There's one wedge there and one wedge there. Point to shovel. Point to shovel. Do this, do this. Moving your hands outward is kind of like the direction of the load in a wedge simple machine. And that's the, that's the last practice question we have about wedges. Thanks for tuning in.